So, Josh Brown, you, you wanted to get in before. You can get in now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were, we were I say colloquially, we, like the stock market uh, strategists, we were baffled watching the Fed continue to buy uh, mortgage bonds month after month after month with home prices up 20% year over year. It made no sense. What are we trying to do? Are we shooting for 25%? And, and in what way is that helpful for the economy to lock out first-time home buyers? How, like, who is, who is being aided by that activity? None of it made sense starting from last summer. You got a NASDAQ at 16, 17,000, and the Fed is, is buying treasuries? What on earth is the purpose of this? So I think Wall Street has been on to uh, the ridiculousness of this for quite a while. For quite a while. And remember, the consensus expectations for 2022 rate hikes as recently as September were one rate hike. In December, it was three. Now we're talking about 10. So this has been, this has been outrageous for a long time. But the, I want to give people some hope here. Here's the silver lining. First of all, there are 73 million millennials in America who are forced buyers of stocks for at least the next 30 years, in a 401k, whatever. They have no choice but to buy. Uh, potential returns go up when the market acts this way, okay? So if you know that you're getting a paycheck every two weeks and a portion of that is going into mutual funds, this is not hurting you. You can't touch that money anyway. For, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be taxed into the Stone Age. So actually, you're buying stocks lower. It's not better to buy all-time highs. I promise you that. You don't want to take your parents out of their stocks at, at record prices every day. So number one, this is not bad for, it's not universally bad for stocks to be down, stocks to be volatile. And then the last thing I want to say very quickly, the Fed has no control over the inflation. They can control the demand situation and the mechanism by which they do that is, is, uh, is affecting financial markets, financial conditions. Financial conditions this year are absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. And it looks like they're going to start getting worse. But the good news is that that starts to work its way through the economy. The wealth effect is a huge driver of how much we're willing to pay for things. So you are going to have inflation roll over. We're not going to compound at 8% inflation month after month after month. So the seeds of the recovery are being planted on days like today when everybody feels a little bit less wealthy and everybody feels a little bit less willing to go out and spend top dollar on X, Y, and Z. So the process is going to work. You, you're just not guaranteed to enjoy it while that plays out. <laughs>